you are the way you Rwanyonya has interrogated that point that committee which was uh, at the, uh, uh, trying to interrogate them is was it just a rubber stamp because there's nothing Joe walked in couldn't even tell us what he's actually worth he has to ask for, you don't even know how much you worth you have to ask someone to bring you there a bullet and you ngapi shilingapi yeah mm. uh, let me tell you we lost parliament kitambo sana i mean we have had this discussion before and we all agree that we don't have a parliament and on their own admission they were bribed we don't have a parliament there on the deputy president's admission that uh, don't lynch them they are told what to do we have a problem there on uh, their own act at state house when the president withdrew a bill that they had passed less than 24 hours before then and they were behind clapping we don't have a parliament by extension that committee on appointment is parliament they do it on behalf of parliament well there are people and i could mention a few like uh, you, you, everyone was watching and you'd see how they were asking questions probing questions people were pampering them i had a, a question from the majority leader a leading question that was asked to interior cabinet secretary professor kithure kindiki about crowd control how do you ask someone who has been accused of presiding over police brutality uh, that would you think that now, now there could be a suggestion that protest could be designated a point that they just go and protest they don't have to occupy you asking a lady question to draft a narrative because that is what is going to happen soon we'll be told you can only protest at uhuru park or we we designate jacaranda grounds you will not come to town well the mischief they want to address is good but have they looked at what the constitution says if I want to present my petition, because that Article 37 talks about you are to present a petition, where will I be presenting the petition? Or when you tell me to take a sample, at a, you are 2 million, but let's get only 20 to come in and go and meet the CS. What criteria? It goes against the Constitution. And remember, all these laws, all these laws that are enacted and ride on the Constitution, when they're inconsistent, with the constitution what happens to them the exactly so that is what i'm saying these guys they decided to go there and they had to give ruto his new appointees remember now the majority side and uh, the minority side had settled and now they are on one side and <laughs> it will be interesting and i'd like when you need to talk about this how junet is going to behave in parliament as the minority leader I haven't, I can't imagine. Don't picture him. I can't imagine how Junette as a minority leader, Ishungwa stands, speaks, Junette stands. Againist. I'm um, wondering. Uh, I think now that you've brought in Junette, that will be f number four item. I had three issues okay. with these, uh, actually MPs. Number one, when uh, Justin Muturi walked into the vetting panel, Wetangula was the first to say, ah, this guy was my classmate at the University of Nairobi. And they clarified it is the University of Nairobi, not Nairobi University, and tararara, some camaraderie. Mm. And you're like, okay, you were the one who's supposed to ask me a question. Probably this guy even beat you in class. Yeah. Or, I don't know, you know, things to do with classmates. Yeah. Number, number two, when Parliament finished with the vetting, they gave out a report. If you look for who are to sit in that committee, yeah. there was one of you and I was supposed to be on the committee as a minority leader yes. Yes. but here he walks in as a guy who's to be interviewed and who's supposed to interview him Junette. the guy who's supposed to come take over his seat Junet yeah. Muhammad yeah. Mm -hmm. and uh, and the rest yeah. number 3 when they finished with the report they presented it to parliament parliament debated and passed the 19 left out soy then invited these two guys to walk in that is Badi and Wandai yeah. and you could see these guys walked in like the gladiators in some Greek arena, <laughs> high-fiving people, and <laughs> it, like the heroes. That is and these are the people doing. who are supposed to have vetted and say that, hey, chief, uh, you're not uh, qualified. Or and they'll offer because oversight of this, over you. Uh, let's kick you out. Yeah. And these are the same guys who are supposed to ask you questions in their committees after yes. you've taken over office. Yeah. So rubber stamp, I think it's even a very polite word. Number four. <laughs> now, number four, number four, Junet Mohammed. Junet, Junet was, uh, I mean, we went to the same school. Of course, he's much senior. 
But once you go through Lenana school, I think you're grounded on on gentility, on intellect, behavior. So I think the guy will deliver. The only problem with him is this high confidence with uh, with Raila. At some point, we were being told he sleeps on uh, Raila's sofa in the sitting room, just to see who will come in and who is going out. If he if he trims that kind of circumstance, I think he can he can he can deliver. He's been around for some time. Yeah, three times. Yeah, three times. That's that's. Uh, he's not a. He's uh, my MP. Ah, yeah. You see, you voted for the guy because of uh, these other. I voted in Nairobi. Issues. I voted in Mbakasi. But he's my so I think home. I yeah. think he'll deliver. Look at uh, Milio Diambo. Milio Diambo has been persistent in her yeah. course. Yeah. yeah, and as a whip, I think she can, she can, she can uh, work. She's the only problem with these people is if they are subservient to whoever sent them. How does that be? If uh, Junette and Millie just listen to what Tinga says, then there is no vetting, there is no oversight. Nothing will happen in Bunge. The same way, what Kinaishungwa were doing until things 